Do you have problems where your iPhone apps are not working when mobile data is enabled? Or you're getting an error message that says, no internet connection? I have for you not one, not two, but six different solutions and fixes, so follow my steps. The first thing which we'll do is to open the settings, then find the general section. After that, locate this iPhone storage option. This will show us a list of applications which we have installed on our device, and you'll want to find an app that you're having problems with. Let's say my YouTube app isn't working on mobile data. So open YouTube, then tap on offload app, and then wait a couple of seconds. After this, we're gonna click on reinstall. This is gonna clear the bugs or glitches which your app may have, and it will give your app a refresh. Don't worry, it won't delete your personal data, login information, or other important things. Solution number two is to reset the iPhone network settings. Open the settings once again, then navigate over to the general page. Once here, you'll want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see this transfer or reset iPhone. Select this reset option, then reset network settings. The phone will prompt you to enter your iPhone password, so just do that and then wait a couple of seconds. If your apps aren't working on mobile data, this reset can fix hidden network issues, refresh your cellular connection, and remove any settings that might be blocking internet access. It's a great troubleshooting step, so try this out and tell me if it worked for you. Step number three is to check if your apps have access to the mobile data. To do that, open your settings and then open the cellular or mobile data section right here. You'll then want to scroll a bit down and find the list of apps which need mobile data on your phone. If, let's say, Facebook is disabled, then you'll need to turn this switch next to it in order for your phone to give internet access to the Facebook app. If this was turned off for you, that's why you had the issue. And if the app which is having the problem is enabled and you're still having problems with it, then simply disable the switch, wait a couple of seconds, and then enable it once again. Solution number four is to check if the apps which are having problems are updated to the latest version. Open the app store on your iPhone and then we're gonna tap on the profile picture icon at the top right corner of our screen. Just go down a button and then check if you have any pending updates for your apps. If the app is outdated and you haven't updated it in a long time, then that can cause glitches, bugs, and other things which prevents it from using mobile data or where you're having that no internet connection error message. So update your app and see if it solves the issue. The fifth fix for this problem is to configure the content and privacy restrictions. Open the settings once again. After that, we're gonna open the screen time section and enter your passcode if the phone prompts you to do so. Scroll down and find this content and privacy restrictions option. If it is turned off, then turn it back on and then click on this allowed apps and features. Just make sure that everything on this list is enabled and go back on this main page, go down towards the bottom, open the cellular data section. Set this to allow and that's it. If these settings didn't work for you, then disable the content and privacy restrictions completely. And the last solution is to restart your iPhone. You can do this by opening the control center, then long press on this little power button at the top right corner of the screen, and then we'll want to slide to power off. That is essentially how you can restart your iPhone and hopefully solve your problem. If you have any other fixes or advice about this, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.